Good morning, everybody. My name's Pat, and this is Ford River Farm. Well, today I'm going to connect the rear tine tiller to the tractor and uh, do some field work here, get ground prepped a little better for planting. And as you can see, <coughs> I've changed a little bit. I've got my suspenders on. Uh, <coughs> I've been losing a little weight and my pants don't fit as well anymore. And rather than trying to hike them up all the time and that kind of thing, I've decided to put some suspenders on and it works good. Uh, I told my wife this morning, these suspenders are probably worth a four piece bucket of chicken and some mashed potatoes. <laughs> Stay tuned and we'll show you what we're going to do next. Thanks. Well, the first thing I want to show you is that uh, I made a mistake and I want you guys to learn from my mistakes. And, uh, well, what I did, I'll show you here. I gave some plant food. I won't say the brand, but uh, what I did was give that to my plants. I did it according to the instructions, but uh, as you can see, a lot of my plants didn't do so well. They probably half the plants that I have got burned with the fertilizer and some of them just outright killed them. They're like crispy. So uh, it didn't do any miracles for me, if you know what I'm saying. So don't make the same mistake I made. <clears throat> just give them some good old water and get them in the ground and maybe later you can add some fertilizer to it uh, once they're in the ground. But uh, when they're in the, the pods like that, I guess I would recommend not to put any fertilizer on them. Live and learn. Mistakes are made, uh, but we'll move onward and upward and we'll get these things planted. And um, we're gonna work up the ground today and I think we're gonna plant some corn. It's early. Today is May 10th. And uh, I want to plant maybe, uh, oh, half the corn that I would normally plant. And um, I want to see how it does. I'll get it in early. And maybe we'll have some early sweet corn. Well, that's what it looks like when it's connected. We're going to take it out and try it. We got a little rain last night, so it might be a little wet, but we'll try it. put my rain gauge out last night and uh, that's it right there we got a little sprinkle yesterday but it didn't amount to anything today is March or rather May 11th and that's the earliest I have ever planted sweet corn we're going to give it a try today. I'm going to go along with my prediction. Some of the naysayers say it's too early. <clears throat> but, um, you know, the uh, the weather broke 
and it's been in the 70s and close to 80 and it's early but I kind of think that once the weather broke like this it's going to stay this way at least I'm hoping and if that's the case it's supposed to be like almost 90 in the next couple days and we also might get some rain so I think today it's a good uh, time to plant some corn I'm not going to plant everything I'll just plant a few rows and um, we'll take a chance uh, the, the payoff is I'll have some sweet corn ready by toward the end of July which would be awesome so you know if it doesn't make it it dies out and it's the first part of June I can still replant it and uh, I'll be planting some other corn as time goes by here too just not everything today and let's see today we're gonna plant some the seed must be in the truck we're gonna plant some uh, it's called sugar buns it's a 65 day uh, corn to maturity uh, it's usually a little longer than that but uh, that's the way it uh, it at least indicates it's an earlier sweet corn <clears throat> and I'm going to use uh, my cedar which which is right here this is called an earthway cedar and how it works is you put the seed in here you walk behind it push through the the row pretty self-explanatory you've got a uh, little markings here to let you know how deep to put the seed this little chain kind of covers it up and then this back wheel presses it down a little bit so you get good contact with the soil and the seed um, inside of the of there is a you got a whole plate of different plates here that that can use for different seeds some seeds are smaller and bigger and so on and uh, you replace them with these plates and you can plant whatever seed you want and this will do it now this one I have um, a sweet corn seed. and I'll show you what it looks like if I can get it out of here right, come on. okay this is for sweet corn now you'll see a couple pieces of tape here last year I used this and and uh, well I've used it for two or three years now and it works very well uh, I thought my sweet corn was a little bit too close together and I have I have plenty of room here to plant a lot of sweet corn so if I space the plants apart a little bit more that's okay uh, the advantage to that is that um, I might get a little bit bigger ears if it's not quite so crowded last year I thought it was a little bit crowded and I thought I'd try and space it out a little more this year and what happens is this tape prevents a seed from getting into that little cup and dropping into the ground these other ones will pick them up and they'll drop it in but because these are covered it'll take a little more space distance to get that seed in there so I'm hoping that'll work it's not perfect but I'm going to try it and see how it works and um, we'll go from there uh, let's see I, I worked up this area here and you can I'll show you it has I went through with the tractor I mark my mark the rows where I want them to be and um, we'll run the cedar through there and we'll show you how it works. Stay tuned. So there you have it. I planted six rows uh, four rows with that modified spacing I did on that disc then I took the tape off and I did these uh, uh, two rows just with the regular stock spacing I want to see what the difference is like and uh, we'll go from there everything's kind of an experiment and I like doing stuff like that uh, we'll see if we get bigger ears of corn or not um, 
we'll just find out and see that's the fun part now all we have to do is uh, a little rain dance we can get some rain <laughs> so uh, that's it for now thanks for stopping by don't forget to hit like share and if you're not a member already or have an account with YouTube start one up and hit subscribe you'll get a notification whenever I have a new video up and uh, you know I can grow a lot of things here on the farm but I can't grow this channel without you so hit like share and subscribe and thanks for stopping by see you next time bye